Hi there, here is a simple tutorial about using BYABAC for aspect term extraction and sentiment classification. Uh, before we use the tutorial, we need to install the package and then import the subtask aspect term extraction and uh, give it an analyze. As for the training stage, we need to first get a configuration object and then set the model and dataset respectively. Here I use the built-in dataset, restaurant 14. If you want to customize your own dataset, you can just uh, use the dataset item object, which can contain a list of dataset for ensemble training. Uh, when you mm, start training, you can add additional parameters in the config object, and uh, the configuration in this object may be dependent to the model, datasets, or environments. Uh, when, uh, when we are just doing uh, training, you can see the data processes, uh, mm, data processing stage, and the training stage. Uh, after the training, you can see the preliminary uh, metric summary, uh, metric summary, and then you you can even just call the APIs for in metric visualizers to make a simple uh, plots, and you can fine tune the visualization parameters to make beautiful uh, figures. Uh, as for the inference, uh, you can just load the trend model from the trainer or you can just query the available checkpoints in the model hub and then you can uh, initialize an aspect extractor using the checkpoint name. Here I use the English checkpoint and load it as an aspect extractor. As for the sample pr inference, uh, you can just pass a list of examples or a single uh, example uh, to do inference. Uh, if you want to uh, do inference for a target file or just a dataset, you can use the batch predict API for this. And we also provide a web-based demo for the aspect term extraction and sentiment classification. Uh, if you do not input an example, then you can just uh, select a dataset and it will just uh, give you a ex uh, random example uh, for aspect term extraction and sentiment classification. Here let's see, uh, let's select a dataset laptop 14. Okay, you can see the result here and it will return the result. You can, you, you can use the return result in your own project. Thanks for listening.